Hello everyone, welcome to today's video all about the best Chrome extensions for students, ones that I personally use and my favorite ones. So let's get started. First of course, you gotta have Google Chrome downloaded. It's super easy to download it from whatever browser. So the first one I have is Momentum Dash and this is just an aesthetic looking home page for your Google Chrome. It's super easy and simple to install and use and you get this nice time thing and it gives you quotes every single day. In the corner you have a to-do list and here you can just write down things you need to do for the day if you want. It's just super quick and simple and you can just check it off. It refreshes every single day. They also have cool things such as telling you the weather, what it currently is outside, this nice thing that says your name, and in the corner you can even search up things on Google or you can just search it up in the main bar. Next is my bib citation generator and this one is super helpful. I find when I'm looking through scientific research papers or websites and like you have to copy and paste it into like someplace and then like do it all at once and it's super annoying but this Chrome extension is a few easy clicks and it's super simple to use. Let's say you like this part and then you can just go into the corner and it automatically cites it for you and you can just copy and paste it and you can also just choose all these different types to choose from like APA, MLA, whatever your school wants you to do and they even have different editions if you even want that too. It's just a super great Chrome extension so it's super easy You just click on the thing and they even have in-text citations and then it's copied and you just paste it wherever you want. You can also save it to a project which just keeps it all in one place so when you're finally finished after looking through a bunch of different articles you can just copy and paste all your citation list by clicking on like the download button and it's just super simple and easy to use and that's why I really love this Chrome extension. And it formats everything perfectly with all the nice indentations too which just makes it super great especially for really long research papers where you have a bunch of citations. Next is MailTrack which is this new one I recently discovered and it's honestly amazing. So it's just this little thing in the side of your Gmail and when you compose a letter it will track your email to see if they opened it. So you just delete that thing because you don't want them knowing you're spying on them basically and it's just super simple from here and that's why I really like it. Next is Grammarly. So let's say you have a mistake here. This Chrome extension is perfect as it corrects your grammar. So you just go into the corner of your Gmail or whatever word thing you're editing. But now back to mail track. So once you sent your email, it'll say it hasn't been read yet. Your recipient hasn't opened their email yet. But don't worry if you wait a few moments later they will have opened it and it'll said that it has been read. This is great to see if a professor got your email, a classmate responds, or if you're applying for a job and you wanna see if they got your email. And the only way they'll know if you tracked their email is if they are tracking your emails. It's kinda like this Spider-Man meme moment, but I only turn it on in dire moments Next is Forest, which is a Pomodoro timer and website blocker. So it's just this cute little thing in the corner and it grows a tree when you start it and the timer counts down and you're not supposed to go on any websites and you're supposed to be studying and it's just a great focusing tool. So to activate the block list thing, so it will prevent you going from certain websites, just go into settings and it also has an allow us, which lets you go on certain websites during the time, but just delete the harmful apps that consume all our time and once you try to go on it like YouTube it will be like no you can't do that and which I think is really great as it will prevent you from this procrastination. So thank you guys so much for watching all about my favorite Chrome extensions. I hope you got something useful from today. Thank you for watching and check out these cool videos if you want to and subscribe. Bye bye!